Hey guys, it's Traveling Tiv. It's been a minute since I went camping. It's been almost a month, probably um, at least a month. Uh, but the reason behind that is because I've been working on my other uh, YouTube channel that I do uh, bushcrafting on. So for the last almost four weeks, I've been going out every week doing a uh, bushcraft video. So kind of doing two channels at once can be a little bit uh, tedious, but uh, <laughs> Anyway, we're here on this lovely campground um, south of Thailand. It's about three hours uh, south of Bangkok. So, um, yeah, we saw this online. They're actually watering the grass right now. Very well kept, no trash. Uh, big open space, it's a lot of room, so it's great. Bathrooms are nice. Probably some of the best bathrooms I've seen. The actual uh, faucet handles their uh, horses so the brass it's kind of cool uh but the owner is very nice i can't pronounce his name uh, i want to say tom so we'll, we're just going to say tom but uh he's the owner and uh very nice guy and he's letting us do whatever we want and you can have uh campfires here but not on the green grass you can go near the the river over here to uh my right your left and camp out by the river with a fire so but yeah so let me uh let me show you guys around okay so here is the uh, dishwashing station two sinks uh they provide the soap and the uh dish scrubbers uh you put all your trash right in here and uh this layout is pretty cool it's you know all this cobblestone uh it's at the bathrooms, this actual, uh, I think there's a little cottage here you can stay at. And uh, yeah, so this is kind of like what the whole setup looks like. It's a Western theme. Okay, so here's the Western cabin you can rent out. And uh, it's all set up for you. It's got a wagon wheel, some firewood. The wood and everything is just uh, a great look. It's got a bench up here. Cobblestone, all hardwood. Kind of cool. All right, so we made it to the bathrooms. So this is what the bathrooms look like, have uh, outdoor sinks. The sinks are made out of half cut barrels. And these are the uh, faucets I was telling you about. This is the brass horse, and uh, that's actually an, a brass elephant. So. So each bathroom has its own individual shower. Uh, there are no water heaters, uh, but being out here, you don't need them. The water is very cold, very refreshing, very clean bathrooms, handmade doors, very solid doors. This, Tom put a lot, of, uh, a lot of work into these bathrooms and guest houses, a lot of time. Right, I just took a long nap for about two hours. It's been hot today. Got some cloud cover coming in. It rained a little bit, uh, but not very much. Just enough to make you upset. <laughs> um, but yeah, just took a nap, woke up, and cleaning up now. So, get everything tidy, tidy. I had a lot of uh, ants. Uh, red ants, the ones that bite all over my mat down there. So I had to get all that cleaned up. Okay. All good. All right, so we're getting camp ready, set it up for some dinner. We just bought this little table. <clears throat> it's from uh, Mountain Hiker. Uh, 
Pang's been using it for a couple nights, um, and she does not like it. So we don't approve of this table. It's too flimsy. Huh, babe? Yeah. But it does the job, but it's it's not worth the money. It wasn't that expensive. How much was it? $1,500. How much? $1,550. Yeah, so definitely not worth the money. She said 50, 50 bucks. There's no way that I pay 50 bucks for this little table. It's flimsy. Look at that. It's not good. But anyway, not here to talk about the table. Gonna make a... I think I'll make some coffee. Huh, babe? another dog that's a new one yeah they're coming out of the woodworks the mosquitoes are starting to come out Gonna have some uh, steak tonight. I got, uh, I found some awesome sirloin. Actually, these are tenderloin beef steaks. Looking forward to these. I had these last night. I have two left. Get my salt out, my pepper. And my steak seasoning. And I have some thyme and rosemary. It smells like rosemary. Or Sally. Smells like time. All right, we're gonna put this up. Now, if you guys are wondering, I'm hammocking solo. She's got her tent set up over there. I'll show you her setup in just a second. Skis are out, boy. Uh, this is Pang's little setup. Looking all lovely. She's got her kitchen over here. Tent right here. Kitchen over there. She's moved three times today. <laughs> trying to get out of the sun. Yeah, I'll save some for, oh, we'll get enough for tomorrow morning, right? Yeah, I'll we'll make those for tomorrow morning. You want half of this? Yeah. Oh. Wait. Black ant, oh, that red ant bit me on my foot, boy. These red ants here are furious. It's almost dark. I mean, sun's already set. But it's at dusk, I guess you could say. I don't know. But skies are still lit. All right, let's get this steak going. <clears throat> Set 
set that right there for now. And I got this stuff dripping everywhere. So I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna go throw this away because of the dogs. <clears throat> Do some seasoning. Got my handy dandy can opener. I'm gonna have some chili beans. It's hard to find good beans here in Thailand that I like. Not as much as before. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, we're gonna let that cook. I right, stirred them. Gonna put the lid on and we're gonna keep it for later. I want it on the ground from right here. Okay, that'll stay hot. All right, let's get this uh, steak prepared. I got, um, I have a little frying pan that my wife let me use and He's probably going to be waiting on it, but I'm going to put some butter, all natural butter. I'm going to heat this up, put my filet on there, and we've got some steak and beans. But first, I got to start the fire again. Wait. I gotta get a bigger ferro rod. This is too small. It came with my knife. But I'm growing out of it. So it needs to be uh, bigger from in my in my case. I was gonna use some garlic, but I don't know if I still should or not. Probably can crush some garlic. Cool thing about this uh, Leatherman tool, it's got a built-in hammer. Not a full-fledged hammer, but just enough to do the job. Well, there went my damn, damn, damn butter. <sighs> this table sucks. Table sucks, man. Fifty dollar table. Don't buy this one. Cause my damn pan just fell off. I just tapped the. I gotta rebutter this. I don't care. The table's very janky. Look at this. Look, my thing just moved now. Oh, I just wasted all that butter. Man. All right, take two. I'm recording. Take two. Well, I can't use garlic, I tell you that. <laughs> I was trying to bust the garlic up, garlic up, but it ain't gonna happen. All right. 
Take two. Be those beans are delicious. Don't, don't buy another table like this. Ay, ay caramba. All right, we're gonna try to let that go for about seven minutes or less. We'll see. It's hotter than monkey balls out here. My sweat sweating. Man, those things are a little bit. Those things are small, but man, they're delicious. Oh man. Yay, yay, yay. Come on, chopsticks, work with in here. Man, this is slippery in a baby's butt. Ooh, yeah, look at those. Golden brown, boy. They're done. They're done, bro. Oh yeah, I got my beans, my little pan. Let me wipe that out. I'm gonna give my wife the first piece. See what she thinks. Maybe we can have the first bite of steak, hun. I'll give you the first bite. Tell the camera. Bad or good? Good or bad? Really good. Is it good? Mm-hmm. Snowy lions and beer. Okay. It says ready to see the snowfall from this can. So, oh yeah, it's snowing. It's definitely snowing. It's pretty good. For those of you back home, these are, uh, I think they're called medallions. Tenderloin medallions. Man. I've been living in Thailand for going on two years in November. Not once have I eaten at a restaurant, ordered steak, got steak from the grocery store. None of it is good as this. And this is from a butcher shop. <clears throat> so if that tells you anything. James, I know if you're watching this video or any of my friends back home and family, which my brother, I think, is the only one that watches these. Besides my friend Michael. Michael, you see this, man? Delicious steak. It's not as good as yours. But it's good. Somebody's going to be lit up tonight. I mean lit. Oh! Should I keep the beard or let it go? You guys let me know down below. Okay, just finished off that steak. Uh, Tony from uh, Random Adventures 2.0. If you're watching this, man, cheers, buddy. And uh, my steak was pretty good. So uh, not competing with you, but I think it's pretty good. And I got some chili beans too as well. Hope you see this video, ma'am. I just want to say hi from Thailand. I know we talked uh, together on YouTube a little bit, and um, 
some people even say I even look like you. <laughs> so my wife even says I look like you. <laughs> um, but uh, I have a, a coffee shirt with a plus sign and the red, the whole nine yards, just like yours. <clears throat> And um, the night I was watching, I was wearing the shirt as well. <laughs> I was watching your video with the coffee shirt on and uh, with a hat. And I had the same outfit on or same shirt and, uh, you know, same look and everything. I thought it was funny. I have to send you that uh, photo later. All right, I'm going to get cleaned up. Um, probably going to help Pang with her cooking. She don't like me to help her in the kitchen but uh you guys have a great night and um i'll bring you back before i go to bed a sleeping pad yeah <sighs> wasted butter <clears throat> Wasted butter. Butter down, babe. Butter down. Oh. All right. Had a good shower. <clears throat> ready for bed here shortly but I'm going to uh, just sit down in my hammock sorry for the noise oh yeah I got the fan blowing right below over, above me <laughs> but like I said it gets swampy hot it's still it's probably around probably in fahrenheit it'd be at least uh probably i would say 80 87 88 probably a little bit warmer maybe um celsius is at least 31 30. it's just one of those luxuries you got to have when you're camping uh in thailand <laughs> If I was, you know, doing anything else, I wouldn't use a fan. Uh, but the last last four weeks, I haven't been uh, using any electricity whatsoever. Just battery stuff. Um, and, uh, yeah, been suffering. So, <clears throat> just experiencing, you know, experiencing the, the whole bushcraft and primitive camping. Set, you know, uh, here in Thailand, though, it's, it's hard to find campgrounds that you can have fires, campfires you have to uh go to a private camp or something like that or somebody you know got to look for them but a lot of these places especially in the because this is near national parks or i would say the jungle uh there's no fires allowed so um but if you find a property like this it's a little bit more it's open to the public but yet it's his own property uh you can have a campfire so you can build one which is really really good but you can't do it here on the grass. You have to be by the river, which is that way. But it's around, it's about a quarter till nine o'clock. Gonna brush my teeth, relax a little bit, cool down. Just had a nice shower. Ah, gonna dry off under this fan. <laughs> um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this so far. Didn't, um, make too much of a video today it's just so hot so tired um i didn't record like i normally do but uh wanted to do something a little bit different something not so mundane something expected like you see everybody else do i, I get tired of seeing the same thing and um i want to just try something different so but yeah doing my own hammock camping uh this is what I've been doing for the last, like I said, four weeks. And uh, man, it's, it's been nice. I got a, I got a new new hammock and tarp set up coming. 
Um, so I'm going to show that and premiere that on the next video. Hopefully I'll have it in the next four, four to five days. And um, I'm excited about it. And I'll explain more details about what happened. But, uh, alright. You guys have a blessed day and a blessed night. And uh, thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, if you'd like to support the channel and um, see more videos like this, uh, be sure to you can check out my, my coffee donation or Patreon links in the description. And uh, I do appreciate it. So this keeps me uh, doing what I'm doing, and especially here in Thailand, which I have to, uh, you know, it gets it gets a little bit costly when you when you try to pay the uh, your visa fees and all that stuff. So, um, but all right, you guys have a great night, and uh, we'll see y'all in the morning. This is perfect. Now all we need is rain. Babe, you get cow win. <laughs> cow win, babe. Bon appétit.
So, uh, gonna wrap it up. We're gonna clean up. Pang's over there getting her stuff ready right now. <clears throat> gonna put all this stuff away and we're gonna head on out. We got a three hour drive back. So, I hope you guys enjoyed watching and uh, stay tuned for the next video. Alright you guys, take care. God bless.